Hello my lovely grade ones. Okay, so I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe and putting loads of lovely rainbows out in your windows. Um, so today for your grade one ballet class you're just going to need a chair to hold on to as a bar or like a table or a side would work as well and then obviously your ballet shoes and then later on um, for the dance your basket. So we're going to um, go straight in with our plies at the bar. Okay, so we're going to start at the bar, obviously. Um, so we're going to do our feet in first position. So obviously now you guys know that we do all of our bar facing the bar. So that means keeping our hips nice and square and keeping our shoulders nice and square. And I think it is a bit easier, so that is good. Okay, feet in first position. We'll start with plie. So we've got plie and stretch. Rise and lower, plie and stretch. Then we go through our feet and point to second and lower. Then we have our full plie in second. We have four counts to do that. One and two and three and four. Then we have a beautiful rise. Then you're going to think that you've got your lemon wedge underneath your heels and you're going to squeeze all the lemon juice out on the way down, and then we point back to first position, ready, ready for the other side. Okay guys, let's give it a go. Okay, so 
do a little kick, but obviously my chair is going to be in your way. So just have a go, and whatever space you've got, just try and use it the best that you can. So, beautiful posture as always. So with your ground back on, you've got a beautiful stretched foot. Then we lift, control, and in to the side. Lift, control, through the feet to the back. Make sure we're going on quad. Again, one, lift, control, and in. We're going to do it on both sides with the music. Here we go. Ready? Stretch, lift, control, in, stretch. Little 
jumps that you've got in this grade that we will need to practice so that when you come back to ballet, it's like you were never left. Here we go. So we're going to have our right foot in front. You're going to prepare your arms to demi bra. Obviously, we use this a lot in this grade, so make sure it's nice and strong. Okay, so we're going to prepare. We're going to do your pete jetés devant, and then we're also going to do the derriere. So we're prepared with the right foot, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, devant means in front. Okay, so you've got your eight pete jetés devant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just going to do eight, but eight perfect ones. Okay, beautiful and high, knees turned out, big jumps. We're not going side to side. You guys know that by now, so let's have a go. Just eight.
sure they were beautiful as they always are in class. Okay, so we're going to finish now with our clapping. So you've got three claps. After that, I'm going to play the dance music. I'm just going to play it. If you have the space and you remember it, then have a practice. If not, don't worry. We'll do it when we get back to class. Okay, so ready for our claps. We've got the three different claps. Like I said, you've got, can you remember any of them? Shut them out if you do. So we've got polka, waltz, and the march. So we need to remember all three of those. We need to remember how to count them and their time signatures. So let's pick one to go through first. Let's do polka because we just, we just did those. So you've got and one, and two, and one, and two. So I was taught these by Miss Jane and Miss Jane always says, I love Miss Jane. I love Miss Jane, and it fits perfectly, can you believe? I love Miss Jane, I love Miss Jane. You can also do, I love ice cream, I love ice cream. My favorite's mint choc chip. What's your favorite? Sounds good, I always like a bit of a flake sprinkle as well on top, just to finish. Okay, right, so let's have a go with clapping the polka with the music. stood up with your feet in first. I just thought I'd come a bit closer so I can um, teach you these properly. Okay, so then after that, um, well, firstly, tell me what's the time signature for a polka? It's a two, four, exactly. So it's a two, four because we counted to two. And it's always four. And one, and two. So that's why it's a two, four. Okay, so moving on, we have the waltz. So we clap that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. So a nice big clap for number one, and then two smaller claps for two and three. So you can do elephant mouse, mouse, elephant mouse, mouse, or whatever works for you. Okay, so using the same thing as before, if we're clapping to three, what's the time signature? Exactly, it's a three, four. Well done. Okay, with the music. shoulders back and your elbows out and not in front of your face because we want to see your pretty face. Okay, so last one is our march. This one is super easy. It's just beautiful, nice, loud claps. Four of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice and even, four claps. So, if there's four claps, what's the time signature? A four, four. Well done. Okay, very good. Last one to do with the music. Here we go.
me now for collecting conkers. Thank you.